Hello guys and welcome to the series of web concepts and in today's video we are going to look at HTTP request methods. So let's begin. The HTTP request method is the first word written in an HTTP request line. These HTTP methods are used to indicate what operation need to be performed on a specific resource of a website. The resource is basically the path provided in the HTTP request line. For instance, if we want to retrieve the content of a resource, then we can use the get request method. Similarly, if we want to send some data to a particular resource, then we can use the post method. Now, before we dive into the request methods, there are few things that you need to remember. The very first point is that the request is made from the client side while the response is sent from the server. So, since the request is being made from the source system, the user can install the softwares like the bird suit which can manipulate the request and then we can send it to server. So, it's basically the responsibility of the server to handle any request that is coming from the source system. Even though it is a legit request or if it is not a legit request, it's the responsibility of the server. Now, since the request will be sent to the server, the server can actually block certain type of request methods or also it can block certain type of request. It totally depends on the configuration of the server, what response it wants to send back to the client. Now, another question that arises generally how these HTTP methods are defined or where exactly these are written in a website. So, generally you will see in a website, Whenever there is a form, then in the method of that form, you will see some method will be defined. For example, mostly it will be post method. Similarly, whenever you are making any Ajax request, there also the HTTP request method we generally defines. So it totally depends how that website is designed or in simpler terms, how the coding has been done for that particular website. So now let's look at the most important HTTP request methods that are generally used. The very first method is the get method which is used to retrieve the content of a particular resource. Remember the resource is defined by its path. Now whenever the get request is made then mostly we will retrieve the response status line, response headers and also a response body. So to retrieve the content we use the get method. After that we have the head method which is similar to the get method but it does not return the response body. So whenever you will make a head request, it will return only the headers and the response status line, but it will not return any response body. Next we have the post HTTP method, which is used to send the data to a particular resource of a website. Now remember that for sending the data to a particular resource, we can also use the get, but the use of the get is highly discouraged when we are sending the data. We will discuss in detail in some other videos why we shouldn't send the data using the get and why the post is preferred. After that we have the put method which is used to create new resource into the server. Now most of the time you don't want the client to be able to create new resource into the server and that is why the most of the time this put method is blocked. Otherwise the user will be able to create new file into the server and the content of the files can also be defined by the user. In that case, it can cause a security vulnerability and it can also lead to the remote code execution vulnerability. That is the client might be able to run arbitrary command onto the server. And also note that the HTTP put method can also overwrite the content of a resource. So it can create new resource and it can also overwrite the content of a resource. Next we have the patch method which is used to partially modify the resource. So put method is used to override the resource while the patch method is used to partially modify the resource. Generally while using the patch HTTP method, a set of instructions are also given to the server which indicates what is the current state of the resource and how it should be modified. So remember patch is used to partially modify the resource. After that we have the delete HTTP method which is used to delete a resource from the server. Note that this method also should not be allowed from the client side to be sent to the server otherwise the client will be able to delete any resource present in the server. That is why delete is also restricted most of the time. 
So most of the time you will notice that both delete and patch HTTP method will not be allowed by the server. And in case if these are allowed, then there will be lot of precautions and restrictions. Finally, we have the options HTTP method, which is used to find out what are the permitted communication options are allowed for a given resource or for a given server. If we want to find out for a resource, then we can provide the path and in case if we want to find out for the server in general, then you can provide the asterisk. For example, suppose we want to find out for a given resource, what are the request methods are allowed. In that particular case, we can give the options HTTP method and also the resource or the path. And in the response, we will see that what are the request methods are allowed for a given resource. In case if we give their asterisk, then it will give for the server what HTTP request methods are allowed. Similarly, it is also used during the course that is CORS. We will discuss course and how options are used in the course in some other video. So that's all for today guys. I hope you like the video. If you have any doubt, please comment it down. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.